Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Got some cool, cool stuff for today's video. I've uh, got something cool in this box. Look at all that urethane on my hands from work. I tried to get it off, but sorry, uh, it won't come off. It's going to wear off, so I apologize for the dirty hands, but as I say, never trust a man with clean hands. But anyhow, uh, Alpha Inverter. I bought this inverter quite a while ago. I have beat on it and beat on it. I've used it hours and hours and hours of runtime behind the scenes. It's just a little lightweight inverter I carry everywhere. Uh, run battery tests and things with it. Well, my friends at Alpha saw me beating on this inverter so much, and they emailed me and said, sir, you've got your money's worth out of that inverter. Let us send you another one to uh, to tinker around with and, and use on some other things. I said, sure, why not? So I'm gonna compare this Alpha inverter to the one I've been using. And another note from the email from the representative with Alpha, this one supposedly has a couple of different improvements over my previous model. So we'll check that in the video as well to see what has changed. Uh, it's supposed to be for the better. And no, I've not torn up this inverter. It still works just fine. It's, it's never given me a complaint. So, I mean, it's, it's still fully functional. Nothing wrong with it. Like, you know, just fine. But for posterity, I'm going to take a paint marker and go right here on it and mark an O for old. And we'll come right down live on camera. I've not taken this out of its wrapper or anything. I just opened the box to make sure FedEx did not destroy it. So we'll take the, I'll take the wrapper off right here. And then I'll just put a little, uh, little in right there for the new one. So that way, you know, we can tell which one is which. So you can see it's packaged pretty well. It's wrapped in plastic. It's got foam, plenty of space around the box. Comes a little user guide and all that good stuff. So I'm pull this one, pull this one out, get it unpackaged. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this one out for the old one. So of course, this is a 12 volt to 110 volt uh, pure sine wave inverter. Um, why 110 volt? Well, the companies that make these pick 110 because some countries use 100, some countries use 120. So they pick the middle voltage. So that's why you see a lot of these inverters made at 110 volts instead of 120. This is rated at 1500 watts continuous and the overload protection kicks in about 1800 on this model. And I've hit the overload protection several times on the existing unit. Of course, it's got two USB ports on the front too, a little display, uh, shows your voltages and battery voltages, uh, all that good stuff. Your battery voltage is here, your AC voltage is here, your AC amperage is here. So, you know, just a well thought out little inverter, like six pounds is what it weighs. It's just lightweight, just aluminum case. It's tough as nails. I'll crack it open. We'll check a look at this one. Then I'll swap them out. We'll run it a little bit. So here is the new Alpha Inverter. Let's remove the cover and see what is going on with this unit. See if it's any different than the old one. First glance, uh, it appears very similar. Uh, let's see here. I do notice a little different configuration right here. Um, hold on, let's just compare them side by side. So here are both of the Alpha side by side. This is the new one, remember, uh, with the marks on the heat sinks. This is the old one. So right off the bat, I see a different capacitor bank set up on the new one versus the old one. I see a different control chip on the new one versus the old one. So might have a little better voltage regulation, which this one was not bad to begin with, but looks like they've got an improved chip right there. Uh, let's see, in the power leads coming in, on the old one, whoops, it can take that, no problem at all. Uh, the power leads on the old one, we have a soldered connection right here, and then the positives go in beside each of the transformers on top of the board. The negative goes through the traces on the back of the board on the old one. And then the new one, we got hydraulically crimp connections right here. They come in in a different spot beside the transformer. So, you know, just, just a little bit of redesign there. And because the negatives come in on top of the board, this time instead of through the traces on the bottom, so maybe a little bit better, better efficiency on the new model. And I'll try to get you a revision number on the board right there if we can get it to focus. That looks like revision number four. Let's see if I can get you to focus right there. 
That is a 2023 date code revision number four. Uh, still model 1500. So this is revision four on the new one. And then the old one right here, it is 2021 date right there. Revision one. So this is revision one. And then this is revision four. So uh, there's been several upgrades since... Uh, since I've got this one. So that's pretty good. 2021 date code on the old one, 2023 date code uh, production date on the new one. But besides a little bit different wire configuration there, different control chip, a little bit different capacitor bank set up. They appear very, very similar. So just a small change and supposed to be improved. So we'll see here in just a minute. So I'll put the cover back on this one. Now, a lot of you don't care about the electronics. I just want to see what it does. So, I'm going to put it to the test. There they are, right there. Old and new. New's going to go back in its place. So, I fired off. I'm going to burn it in hot. I'm going to put a big load to it right off the bat. So, 13.3 out of the battery, 111 volts. Uh, we'll put the scope on it too in just a minute. 4.6 watts idle. Now, that is different than the old one, 4.5. The old one was right at 3.7 to 3.9. This one's about a half a watt higher. Now, I did do notice right here off the back, because this is the first time I'm seeing this on, same as you, the display is a lot brighter. Uh, big time difference. Way brighter display on the new one versus the old one. Uh, everything's a lot brighter. So that little half a watt burn is probably going into this brighter display that they put in here. That's way clear. I like that. That's a lot clearer. So I can deal with the uh, half a watt difference for a much brighter display. It should be a lot easier to see outside. Yeah, I like that. So I got the new Alpha ready to go. So I'll power it up. There we go. And I'll put a energy meter on the AC side. We'll use this energy meter on the DC side. I'm going to get an efficiency read first. And then I will put a uh, full load to it. I'll do the resistive load, inductive load. I'll surge it a little bit, see what it can take, and see if we can trigger its uh, 1800 watt overload protection. That's only number four cable. That's got 120 amp BMS, uh, 100 amp breaker. Uh, the shunt's rated you know, continuous 100, it'll take some surges up to 200 on this little meter here. So, you know, this is not the way you set it up if you're gonna run these big loads. I'm just testing it for a few minutes. So, you know, it won't heat soak quick enough to hurt anything. You know, protection's in place if it does. So, you know, just for testing purposes only. So the energy meter is showing 112 volts. The display is showing 110 and my voltmeter is showing 112.5. So, you know, we're at 112, so the you know, the display's off a couple of volts, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna dial it in around a thousand watts on the DC side. And we'll check the AC side, see what kind of efficiency we got of this. The old one does about 90% efficient. So we'll see what this one does. Here we go. All right, not too bad. I'll hit it full bore with the resistive load, uh, see what that gets us. And I'll check the sine wave and then I'll do an inductive load plus resistive load. So not too bad of a voltage drop considering that, uh, yeah, that's pretty good load on it. So now uh, time to torture test. I'm gonna reconfigure right here and then I'll slam it. I got the inductive load on there, resistive load. I got meter on there best I could to get us a scope view of it. And we're gonna see what we can max out on the DC side. Uh, probably if it's 1800 on the AC side, 
I'm looking for 2,000 to 2,200 on the DC side before we trigger, just for reference. So uh, we'll start, start slow and uh, work our way up. I got it. Well, that was all fun. So now I'm going to, I'll start with the resistive load on low. I'll turn the inductive load on first because I'm going for a full, uh, work my way up to see what it trips at. So let's go ahead and start. So I'll start this. I'll work the resistive load up, see what it triggers at. watts oh yeah i'm sorry you're unhappy i know it i know it hold on a minute i'll get you back up and running 2000 watts on the dc side oh let me turn that off don't need that going on so uh yeah 2000 and change on the dc side will correlate right at 1800 on the ac side works as designed nice so the new alpha is as good actually the new alpha is better, revision four is better than the old alpha, revision one. Uh, better, brighter display, uh, better, way better voltage regulation on this one compared to my old one. So yes, I like the new revisions. I like the new improved version. Excellent, excellent. Works as designed and still affordable. Still only $175 for this thing. Uh, I have a link in the description if you're interested in looking this up. I can highly, highly recommend uh, these alpha inverters i mean i have beat the snot out of that one see more of the new alpha in upcoming videos of course this is my capacity test rig for 12 volt units so yeah good efficient reliable inverter uh can take a hit can run long continuous loads no problem uh stays nice and cool just just an excellent inverter uh you'll see more of this coming up that's a battle tank too and that one no it is not going away that one is destined for a special project that should be out in a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. So if this one thought its uh, work days were over, oh no. No, it is going to get hit hard, even harder than before. It's going to be slammed. We're going to see what exactly they can do before they melt down. So yes, uh, more Alpha inverter footage coming up. Thank you, Alpha. Appreciate y'all sending this, uh, this new version out to me. I really like it. And uh, all my viewers, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a nice day and be safe.